Hi everyone, I'm Flip. Welcome back to some more So Dungeon in World 8 at the moment. We won't waste any time, we'll get straight to it. So we want to upgrade, we want nurses, mystics, thief, can't grab the huntress, which is fine, and carpenters. Nurse, auto's not on, it's fine, we'll probably craft a few things. And then just three carpenters. Uh, the early levels we actually probably want two mystics but they can take care of the bigger groups quite quickly do we want loot or are we mainly going for floors probably mainly floors so we won't actually worry about the thief either we'll grab another mystic and the carpenters are mainly for the boss and then the mystics for all the groups. Should be good. Right, blacksmith. Ooh, should be able to craft. Ah. Not sure why the other stuff aren't there. I think we have to clear a few floors, unfortunately. But I'd like to make like the frying pans and everything. That's ah, not a big deal though. We'll just go in naked and see how far we get. Should get quite far off the damage. I'll come back once we've gone to the end. Almost a fantastic first run. All the way to 500, but not a lot of equipment or gold, unfortunately. Ooh. <laughs> so the Lord of Light, who is the boss, is giving us a whole bunch of stuff. Interesting. So we get our turtle shell, not that we really need it anymore. And nothing. We have to say. Right, what do we need? Level 30 items? That's very easy to do. And a whole bunch of food stuff. So we do actually want, hopefully we can make them now. Yeah, frying pans. Frying pans and silver necklaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Probably gold shields as well. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Not sure how many we can make. We can make two, three, we can make three. Might as well. They're a decent thing to have. As for our group, we can unlock Huntresses, Dark Mages, still don't need the Blade Master at any point. I'm doing Mining, Nurse, Mystic, uh, Huntress would be nice, Dark Mage, probably just two Dark Mages for now. So I'm just going to do a grind run most likely and get better equipment and loot. Everyone just wants frying pans. And then the gold shields. We do need more silver necklaces. We need one, two, three more. Two, three, oh, silver, it's fine. We can do that. Perfect. Everyone can have item find. Uh, we'll give one of them the like gold. I think finding equipment is kind of more necessary. Shield wise, four gold shields, is that what we have? Four. One, two, you can have the golden eye. Three, four, and just whatever. Not a whole great deal of armor though. I think. One shy. Yeah, probably just that. Right. Not fantastic, but it should do the trick. Probably start off from 490. Instead of just doing a grind run with attack increase. 
and we have Demon's Eye. Right, anything to buy before we head off? Yep, lots of stuff to buy. Uh, the Sulphur is useful. The Demon Eye, not so much. Relics, just gold, well, just essence, actually. We can probably upgrade the physical damage one as well. Pet stable, you leveled up yet? No. I think that's about it. Just going straight back into it. Uh, we'll probably grind out, see how far we can get. Before I do autos. Just want to see, we should be doing... Uh, probably not enough damage with uh, the Dark Mages Carpenters were probably the better choice. You're doing 49. You're doing 58. Yeah, so it's kind of a lot weaker. But we'll see how it does. Should probably push another 100 floors maybe. Maybe a bit less with the damage output. So despite the abysmal call I've assembled, we are going to clear 600. Might be able to get to 700 given the amount of damage the enemy output is. We can't get two shots and we can generally heal through it all, but our damage is awful. The group attacks from the Dark Mages is just so terrible at this point. It's like 100 damage between the two of them, which is never enough to kill anything. Now the boss might be a bit of an issue, actually. Yeah, because this one does... Well, it's not quite 100. Some of them it's a little bit more, but we should actually be able to. Manage... Not with the back attacks, actually. Should be close. But yeah, the damage really sucks. The poison ticks are nice, but we could... Be doing this a hell of a lot quicker with Carpenters. It does alternate, which is good. Makes him a lot weaker than the actual boss. Because the healer would be done for. Because of the back attacks. As long as he doesn't kill the healer, he might be able to push to 700. That was close. Uh, can't survive another hit on the healer. Come on, attack this side. Alright. So we got through through sheer luck, thankfully. We'll see if we can push to 700. Well, it looks like we'll be able to clear 700 as well. I don't jinx myself. I think at this point we could have done the actual boss if I had done the damage properly. Because as you can see, it's taking a lot of rounds to kill things with the two Dark Mages instead of Carpenters. It's not horrible, because obviously we're going to 700, but could definitely be quicker and more reliable. Not sure if we can beat the janitor though. Depends what type of attacks he has. I can't remember what the was the tech boss? I think he had status effects. He looks like he's just using basic attacks. As long as he doesn't double hit, if he just focuses, say, the healer, we wouldn't have a chance. There we are, wrong number. Fusion, stun, or something? Different stat effect. Almost a one shot though. Hopefully he doesn't hit the same one twice. I think we'll be able to beat him. Whether or not we leave with everyone is the question though. Just uh, AoE? Yeah. Fine, we can out heal it. You're almost done. Right, can we make it to 800 and the other world essentially in two runs? Either way, it's another quick world which I 
quite like, I might have to stick in more of the runs. I'll come back when it's a bit close to 800 if we get there. And I'll probably include a bit more of it. So we can talk about what's going on and see if we can actually make the push in this single run. So the comp ended up suffering mostly because... Uh, I think it was the healer got turned to stone and then the damage dealers got picked off. But we got almost to 800 and some very good items. I definitely think one more run and we're done. We can even craft some new stuff. No one to talk to. Essence and a bunch of craft materials. Pretty decent. Nice little boost of a world. So we're not taking the Dark Mage, we're going back to Carpenters for damage. We want you, we want a Mystic. Huntress for marking. And then probably just three Carpenters. We don't need the Thief anymore at the moment. And we should be fine to deal with the boss. Quickly see if there's anything new to buy. Definitely want the Gold Armor. Might make it worthwhile to do a farm run on this world. Don't think we'll be able to get that. Or any gold. But we might end up doing a couple runs with miners. Perhaps with the auto on, just to see what exactly we can get. I think we're just gonna equip stuff. Fairly simple loadout. Just maximizing damage on the carpenters like usual. This one's a bit weak compared to the other two, unfortunately. But it should be good enough. And spend the relics, might as well. I think we're pretty much set to take on the boss. Don't have to worry too much about any of these. Uh, the essence one, 30, maybe just the gold one a couple times. Anything else? No, let's pump the gold. All right, pets. Uh, I might swap to the whale just to try and guarantee that we Get it done. Right. Starting from 760, 40 to go. It's fairly quick. Ah. That's bad. Don't know why he's using that attack over nail it. It's obviously not stronger. Yes, because it's a group attack like that. Should still be capable enough, thanks to the damage of the other two. Will hamper us on the boss, considering he has the greater items. I'll turn order off. This guy. So what could he do if he could actually use his skill? 616 without the mark. So yeah, still a bit higher than the other one. Definitely take the war. There is not a terrible thing, but obviously the nail it is kind of superior. <laughs> Considering this guy down here doesn't even one shot. You can probably do it quicker. We saw, yeah. Ah. So I'll probably have to change theirs instead of strongest to just nail it. It's not huge oversight. It's a bit annoying though. Especially on a single target. I wish it had a bit more intelligence than it does.
See how good I am. Just to make him use nail it. Yeah. Wish we had a key again. This I can pick the healthier one. I probably should have done it for this guy as well. Could have probably dealt with both of them. You can one shot 600. Oh, 616. So call it 600, 550, This guy can't one shot. We'll take care of the one that's got the marking. Should be fine now. Even with the AoE. Where do you need to go? No keys. Single doesn't matter. A little bit slower, but it's fine. You lazy. That was a misclick. I suppose the AoE on the 4 is probably a bit better. Good one shot sort of them. No. So it depends whether or not we get like an elite enemy. No. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay, that sucked. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and get to 790. No one's debuffed. The health is the sole issue at the moment. Ah, I should have spread that out because you can't one shot. It's fine. Tacked where we wanted. Out so they both can kill. Come on. Good. I'm just being nice and spread around. Uh. This one's a bit... I should have used the AoE. It's my mistake. Should still be able to kill two of them. Oh, we still got through.
kill the boss, and then we'll restart. Deal with the Holy Lord. Oh, Mark. So it should be enough now with the three of them. Do you deal 800? and we'll concede. Grab the same comp. Let's manage it a bit better, hopefully. Anything nice in the shop? An okay stuff. Right, so nurse, mystic. A huntress mark versus just a fourth carpenter. I think the avoiding dungeon portals is the big thing, but it's only really useful on longer runs. So we'll probably just grab more carpenters from this point. I get to find some. Another one. Two more. There we go. Right, so I'll do the equipment. Right, so I've tried to spread things out a bit better, make the Four carpenters a bit more even, though their damage is lower overall, I'm pretty sure. And no, was it? Uh, ocean? <laughs> what I want to say? Ozean? Ozean, probably. Ozean armor for the carpenters. Should be useful on the nurse, actually. On turns they don't heal. Wonder which will pick the Skull Bash or the AoE. I think it thinks the AoE is stronger because if it gets four hits off, it's the better attack. Although the nurse isn't set to use their strongest, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, we should be able to easily do the boss. 500. 400. Eh, it's decent. It's more balanced between the four of them than it was before. But not being able to one-shot things is a little bit of an issue. Might just play by hand to try and ensure things. And no one needs a heal, so you can use the group attack. You can use your group attack. We should be fine now. Boss is fine, singles and duos should be fine as well. I think that mark damage is decent as well. I don't know why I risked it. So close. What is our free round as well? We skip 96. Better key too. I should have just taken the treasure. I probably should have AoE'd on the nurse. I could have stalled around. I killed two of them. Bit unfortunate. Right, I don't want the nurse to heal from the poison because the damage isn't enough. Wait around. Also, do we kind of want to stall so we can be topped off going to the boss? So we. Oh, it worked out for us. We might not even kill yeah, three of them. That was a bit bad. Not enough to heal, too. Oh well. Hopefully, the boss doesn't have any AoE. Is good. Oh, skull batch is fine. Let's 
What does he do? That's the big question. Just attacks? As long as he spreads things out, we're fine. Smite. That's a bit too much damage. Depends where the smites land again. You take out our nurse, and then it's gonna be a close call. Ah, uh, it's not. Oh, it's a, ooh, it's a big heal too. It's good for us because we can top off, but it's more than we do in a single round. So if it's a threshold heal, kind of screwed. Definitely would have been better with our huntress, the mark. Let's see, attack one of these two. Heal again. Yeah. Queen. I think it was in the 7k. It's definitely gonna slow things down. It's still doable. Just more chances of us being unlucky with uh, his, his smite on the weaker ones. It has to be a threshold. So I think if he's under 5k, he uses it. Which means we'll probably end up stalling out. We'll see if it triggers it. So it shouldn't be this round, it should be the next round. So let's see if he meditates. Probably not going to have enough damage. If we could dot him, it would be better. He's under 5k, so if he uses it back to back, is the big issue. Because if he uses it this time, he'll be above. Yeah. Well, it's unfortunate, but we don't have the damage. I needed a Huntress instead of the four Carpenters. That's right, we'll go again. Right, so we've just gone for a straight up physical damage. Again, just making the strongest carp as we can. This one falls off a bit, but should be fine. Anything else we need to do? Should probably upgrade stuff. Uh, what does the other one have? I think he has a Blade of Virtue. It's not much. Help. Right, I'll come back when we're at the boss. Right, back we are. With a much better chance, I want to say. The only issue we might run into is a resistance fine. If he, the burn happens, the Huntress won't mark, and then we won't have enough damage. Uh, but we're doing 2800, call it. So we can out DPS his healing, which is what we want. Was close though. Should be fine. This is the better round for us because he'll heal. He didn't heal. It's interesting. It must be the turn after he drops below the threshold. So we need to heal. And he's got burn on, which is an issue. Might as well grab the mana. He should heal again, so it's not a big deal. Meditate. Yeah. It's fine. Full health. Don't need to mark. Should be able to do it. As long as we drop you under 2500 here. Yeah, with the burn. Be it. We'll let the camp to finish it. Hmm? 
Go on to where they run off to. Because we're just following our Dark Lord. Right. See if there's anything interesting in the town. Otherwise, another world down. Okay. Let's speak to you first once. Taking a break. Right. Save 500 enemies. Alright, you still opening for Interesting. They gave us that quest. It's more just, yeah, no, not paying it forward. What one was it? A little secret? Place some enemies to assist the Lord of Light. But not in this one. No candles, unfortunately. But we'll probably leave it there for this one. I'll probably end up grinding a little bit off camera, so to speak, before we move on to the next world. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.